Hello there, my name is Rani and I'm going to teach you today about vocabulary we use in English to talk about your family. Some people have very, very big families or other people have very small families. How big is your family? People might ask you that question and I'll teach you how to respond to it. For example, if someone asked me how many people are in your family, my answer would be four. So I can say, I have four people in my family. Now, in English, when we talk about people in our family, we mean the people that live in the same house. I do not include my grandmother, my grandfather, my great-grandmother, all my cousins, my aunts and my uncles. When someone asks you how many people are in your family, they mean how many people live with you. Think of how long it would take you if you had 50 cousins. I have 900 people in my family. So you're going to limit to the people who live with you. Now most families have four, five, six, seven. There's no regular number of people that a family have. It depends on you. I have four people in my family. You always include yourself. So I have a mother. Only one. I have a father. And I also have one brother. The pronunciation of these three words are all the same. Ending, not beginning. The first one is mother, then we have father, and brother. I'll just write the pronunciation of these in red for you. So these are all going to sound like thir. So this is mother, father, and bra there. So you're thinking to yourself, Ronnie, I know you're bad in math, but I only see three people on the board. Don't forget about me! You must include yourself when you're talking about your family, because you're part of it. So as you can see, I have a mother, a father, and one brother. That equals four. If you have a bigger family, maybe you have two brothers, or if you have a sister or sisters, we need to be careful with our countable nouns. If you have only one, you're going to say, I have one sister. I have one sister. If you have more than one sister, let's say you have five sisters, you must put an S. So if I change this to five, I must say I have five sisters. The pronunciation for sisters, as you can probably tell by the spelling, is different. The pronunciation is sis-ter. Sister would be singular and plural. We actually don't put an S sound on it, we put a Z sound. So I would say sisters. A lot of words in English use a Z sound at the end rather than a S sound. But well, that's a whole other lesson. So we say, I have one sister or five sisters. It's the same pronunciation with brother. If you have more than one brother, you're going to say, I have two brothers. It's going to sound like brothers. Okay. This is my immediate family. If you have more people living with you in your house, maybe you have some grandmothers or grandfathers. I will teach you about those. But one thing I have to tell you that's very important in English is when we normally talk about our family, 
I wouldn't usually say mother. I would say, does anyone know what we say in English if we were talking casually about our mother? I would never say mommy. Mommy is only if you are a child. Okay? So if you are under the age of five, mommy is perfect. But the older you get, you need to change mommy to mom. So I now say I have a mom. And I refer to as her as mom. The father, we never say, I have a father. It's very, very strange when we speak about him casually. Does anyone know the word for father? We also have this word. We say, dad. So just so you can sound more natural when you speak about your family, you're going to say, I have a mom and a dad, two brothers, one sister. There's some other very important people in your family that we need to talk about. They are maybe a little bit older than you. I hope they would be. Older than your mother and older than your father. Does anyone know the name of your mother's mom or your father's dad? In English, we say grandmother and grandfather. So, your mother's mother is your grandmother, and your father's dad is your do 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 grandfather. But again, in English, we don't like words that are very long and very formal. So we actually have a short form for both grandmother and grandfather. This will vary by what they would like you to call them, but most people would generally call their grandmother grandma. Now once again, this is not the right spelling. People do spell it like this, but this is how we pronounce it, grandma. We also have grandpa, except we don't even say the D when we say it. We say grandpa. So we're actually omitting the D and just saying grandpa or grandma. You probably have or had two grandmothers and two grandfathers. Maybe some of them have died, but that's okay. You can still refer to them as grandma and grandpa. So, I hope you and your family enjoyed this video, and we'll see you again soon. Bye!